Aaron, why do you think Araldis Chapman struggled tonight? Um, <clears throat> well, An Anderson got a base hit off him, and then and then he and then he lost uh, Moncada when he had a chance there uh, with the walk, you know, and then and then fell behind Robert there. Um, you know, got a split in the zone there, three one count, and he he didn't you know hit it great, but but was able to get it through. So. Um, I thought he was aggressive, you know, losing Moncada, um, you know, that's the one that, you know, obviously you don't, he didn't want to do that, but it, but I thought he was aggressive with his stuff. Knowing that Anderson is a guy that can steal and win, will steal, did you feel like he was unnerved? No, I didn't think he was unnerved. I actually thought he was very much in control of the situation, and 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 a lot of times when Aroldis is very aware of of the running game like that, you know, he, he quickens enough and, and it it kind of shores him up mechanically. So no, I don't think he was unnerved. What was the thought process from Isaiah Kiner Falefa? How, how does he get thrown out in that situation, knowing Judge would be getting a chance in that? Yeah, well, first of all, he's got to be tagging up, and then it's a read. If if the if you read the ball is going to go over the cutoff, man, you got to get to third base there with less than two outs. So, I think he saw it out of Pollock's hand high. I haven't talked to him completely about it yet. Saw it come out because from our angle, it looked like it came out high. But you got to make sure you see it over the cutoff, man, and and that's when you move to third. Otherwise, um, you know, you gotta you gotta tag, read it, and then go back. Do you think he's trying to draw the cut? No. No, I don't. I, I think I think he read it high and felt like he could get there, but I haven't I haven't got gone through it with him yet. This was kind of shut down by Keiko there. How was he? Yeah, I thought Keiko was good, man. I mean, cutter, change, sinker. Um, you know, I thought he was pretty sharp. You know, you know, we knew he was coming off a good game in his last last game against Boston and and even looking I know it's been a slow start he's thrown the ball better than than that would suggest I think his defense has let him down on a few occasions but you know I thought he was sharp tonight we had a couple chances um, and he you know he was able to make some big pitches I thought Kiner had a good at bat off him early on with runners in scoring position where he lined out to center field but but Keuchel, Keuchel did a good job. Odd to see Montgomery walk three guys given the way. Yeah, yeah, Monty was just a little, fell a little out of rhythm tonight, you know. You know, that said, gave us a chance, you know. Two, two runs into the fifth um, on a night when, you know, it was, I think, a little bit of a struggle for him. But he, he made some pitches when he needed to, got a big double play ball there to end, end the fourth inning. And, uh, you know, on a night where it wasn't perfect for him, gave us a chance. I think we asked you after every one of his starts about mm -hmm. the lack of, of run support yeah. for him for an offense that's been as good as you guys have been. How do you wrap your head around the fact that he just doesn't I, get runs? I, I don't. We'll, we'll score.